today's lesson is about something I call the stubble diddle. The stubble diddle is a paradiddle played as a groove, but the style is Clyde, like Clyde Stubblefield. If you're not familiar with Clyde Stubblefield, here is a little teaser. So it combines that with only using the paradiddle. Now, this is what you call linear drumming, and this sort of thing is definitely not new. Some of my biggest influences, such as David Garibaldi, and Mike Clark, and Vinnie Cagliuta, and the list goes on. They definitely you know, do this style to a great degree. So a little backstory on this is Whenever I taught lessons and we would work on rudiments and all the different accents of a paradiddle, you know, my students would often ask me, well, how is this applicable to the drum set? Like, how am I going to use this? So I said, okay, so let's, let's try to make a groove that uses most, if not all, of the accents in it. And basically, when I started playing, I started hearing something that was in the style of Clyde Stubblefield. So um, anyways, enough talk about it. Let's get into it. All right, now just for a second, let's just review. A paradiddle is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And here are all the different accents for it. Okay, so we're, those are the tools that we're using to, to play this groove. And again, before we move on, let's uh, let me show you how the groove sounds, you know, without without the paradiddles. Okay, so now we're just kind of transferring that over to paradiddles, and uh, so uh, this is what it sounds like. All right, let's go through it step by step. First, one e and a two e and a are very straightforward. It's just accents on the downbeats, so like this. Okay. Bass drum on one as well. Okay, three e and a four e and a. They. Uh, the accents on the upbeat, so the ands. So it'd be like this. Okay. Um, and then the on the hi-hat, the bass drum plays at the same time as the accent. So the first measure sounds like this. Okay, second measure. So the first accent will be on the E of one. So one, E and a. And by the way, I am playing rim shots on all the accents. Uh, to get that kind of funky style, you can come back, like not necessarily in the middle of this drum, like this. Or, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to smash the rim shots. You can just... Uh, uh, have them nicely placed, if you will. And one thing that I really learned is keeping the ghost notes and the accents really exaggerated. All right, so 
after you hit that accents on the E of one, you hit a bass drum on the and. Okay. And then an accent on two. Then you play a bass drum right after the accent. Two E and uh. So one E and a two E and a of the second measure sounds like this. So a little sound tip, the accented notes I'm playing as shoulder and the unaccented as the tip. Now, three E and a. There's no accents here. We just play the bass drum on the three and the and. Okay, four E and a. This is the very end of it, but it's also a little tricky. You're gonna have an accent on four, an open hi-hat note on the E of four, and then on the and is an unaccented note, and the hi-hat closes at the same time. Hopefully you can't hear it. And then the last note's an accent. So that together very slowly. Now let's play the second measure, one time through, slowly. A good way to practice this also is pr looping just the second measure. All right, now let's play both measures with the metronome. One, two, ready, and. A little faster. Let's do 100. One, two, Ready and one twenty, one, two, ready and. One forty. Actually, one other thing you can do with this it, that's, that would make it, you know, up the challenge a little bit is swing it.
right, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this video, please hit the old thumbs up and subscribe. And, you know, comment down below. Let me know if there are any videos that you'd like to see in the future, things you would like me to cover. So, all right, I guess that's it, and I'll see you on the next one.